Thanks for joining us today at Island Ford Superstore located on Norcross Road in Duncan, BC off the Trans-Canada Highway. We're in the Couchin Valley on Vancouver Island. Today we're looking at a 2013 Chrysler Town & Country Touring in stone white with black cloth interior. Seating for seven, four doors and a hatch. This has got a 3.6 litre V6 front wheel drive engine. It's really easy to get into this van. Just talk to our sales team. They'd be happy to take you out on a test drive. Storage and speaker in the door, as well as power locks, windows and mirrors. This is the power control for the vented windows in the back. Your driver's seat is powered with lumbar. Lighting controls are located here and you have power pedals. Your steering wheel can tilt and telescope. And on the face of it, you have your dash controls, hands-free dialing, and as well as cruise control. On your dash, you're gonna see any important messages, your odometer reading, and then you also have a menu that you can toggle through. So you've got your fuel economy, Vehicle speed, trip info, vehicle info, messages, and the units system setup. And these all have sub menus. In the center here, or off to the side here, is your automatic shifter. As well, you've got your media displayed there, and your backup camera view will also display there when you put the vehicle in reverse. You've also got navigation, and your media control uh, choices are AM, FM, satellite radio. As well, you have the option for your CD there, as well as DVD. And you just push that again. You've got your auxiliary line located there. And below that, an analog clock. You've got AC, as well as front and rear defrost. And you've got dual climate control for both driver and passenger, as well as heated seats for driver and passenger, heated steering wheel. And there's your fan, econ, hazard lights, 115 volt, and your traction control. Down below is your Blu-ray drive, and then the controls and power for that. In the cubby, couple of 12 volt outlets, cup holders, more cubbies, and the driver and the passenger both have armrests, which is kind of nice. Off to the side, you've got two glove compartments, an auto dimming rear view mirror, garage door opener, your lighting controls. You've got the controls as well for sliding those doors in the hatch. A little mirror here so you can see what's going on in the back. And then you've got a nice sunroof so you can tilt and slide that as well and open it up. A little bit rainy today so we're going to leave it closed. 17 inch wheels, body color door handle and side view mirror, driver side fuel cap. The back hatch has a little bit of a spoiler as well as a windshield wiper and your backup camera is located just below the town and is displayed on your LCD screen inside. When you're ready to open up that hatch, you can do so by double clicking your fob. It powers it open for you and makes it easier to get in. Inside it's nice and roomy and you're seeing the seats numbered one through four to bring them down or reverse it and bring them all the way up. There's a bin off to the side and up above there's two handles right and left when you're ready to close everything up. You can also push the power button here. It'll chime to let you know it's going down and then you can lock it up and walk away or jump in and head out on your latest adventure. The rear passenger door is powered, so you simply pull the handle and it'll slide the door right open for you. You now have access to that second row, which is captain seats, and both seats have armrests. There's also a grab handle in the body, making it easier to get in. And then when you want to bring this seat down and out of the way, simply pull the tab at the back, and now you have access to the third row with a 60-40 split, and they very easily go down. Now back there, the seat belt's sort of hiding it. There's USB, 12 volt, 110, and AV line in in that little corner there. There's also bins with cup holders. When you're ready to put everything back down, simply push with one hand, then flip it up and flip up the headrest. These are stow and go seating, so they go right into the floor and you just pull up that uh, tab there and the seat goes right in. There's slim pockets on the back of the front seats for extra storage and up above, there's a DVD player. Just pop that open. You've also got your climate control. There's lighting, vents, as well as more hooks and handles. Privacy glass in the back windows, roof rails, heated and powered side view mirrors, halogen headlights, fog lights, and so many more reasons to visit us at Island Ford Superstore, BC's number one rated Ford dealer.